This second look is so cute. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is May and I create fashion and beauty content. Today's fashion video is a little bit different from the other ones on my channel and that's because I'll be showing you how I build outfits, specifically 4th of July looks. Since I don't have my whole closet with me and I don't own too many red pieces, I thought this would be a fun way to show you how I put looks together for specific July 4th events. Starting off with the outfit that I'm currently wearing, we all have one pair of denim shorts that we absolutely love and that we always wear them summer after summer. Mine are from Levi's. The style is the ribcage shorts. It's a medium wash and they're super high-waisted with a front rise of 12 inches. I pair the shorts with a striped bikini from Revolve. It just adds a nautical feel. If you want some more coverage, I would style it with a white button-up. This one's from Madewell and it's a little bit old so you probably won't find it but I have a similar one from End Other Stories. It's really nice since it has a self-tie knot in the front. It gives you more of a relaxed look. I would keep my shoes simple and wear my favorite white sneakers from Saludos. These are made out of recycled water bottles. Models. This look is perfect for casually staying at home and lounging by the pool. Since I didn't add red to this look, you can easily wear red lipstick or a red clip like this. This second look is so cute. When I first saw this matching set on Revolve, I immediately thought this would be the perfect 4th of July outfit. It is a red gingham set by Montez Swim. If you're not familiar with this brand, they're based out of Fort Lauderdale and they make beautiful swimwear. I will say they are on the expensive side, but the quality is exceptional. Now, since this skirt is short, I don't know how you guys determine if a skirt is too short for you but basically what I do is I stand up and I let my arms drop and if my hands go beyond my skirt then that skirt is on the shorter side for me the perfect length for me is if it meets at my hands so because of this I would actually wear the matching swimsuit bottoms underneath the bikini top is so cute I love the puffy sleeves and they can also wear it just as a regular summer top for shoes I would just keep it casual and wear my white Toledo sneakers again I don't know about you guys but I love going to my local parades around this time here on Long Island we have so many charming parades where you can actually participate and make your own type of float. They're very community based and family oriented. I actually won one year years ago. Actually, let me go get my costume. I still have it. On the headband, it says new US citizen. And I had this around my neck. This is a picture of my mom and I. And it says different colors, different creeds, one American family, Born in the USA, born in China, now American. Our family honors the heroes of 9-11 and those who serve and protect every day. Sworn civilian, everyday people who make this country great. Proud to be an American. I can't remember, but this might have been the one where I dressed up all of my dolls in 4th of July outfits, because I did that one year. And then another year, I played my flute. I can't remember which year was the year that I won. This picture looks like I was younger, so it's probably the one with the dolls. I don't know, I can't remember. I was probably like seven years old when I won. Since it gets really hot in July and you're probably walking, whether you're in the parade or just watching, I would wear high-waisted shorts. These light wash ones are from Rolas. If you guys are interested in my favorite high-waisted shorts, check out this haul right here. As for tops, I need something breathable since I'm most likely going to be sweating. I've noticed bandanas or handkerchief tops are really popular so I thought this one would be perfect. It's from Shein. I've never shopped there before, but I really like this one since it has adjustable straps. I'm not a fan of ones that are strapless because I always worry if they're gonna fall down. So to avoid embarrassing yourself, get this one. I would finish the look with sandals, something comfortable. These are from Revolve. I really like that they are woven, mixed with light blue and beige. For the fourth outfit, the event is a friend's party. Starting out with this asymmetrical red bodysuit from ASOS. I love when brands offer clothing for tall girls, specifically girls with long torsos. Even even though I'm actually petite, I do have a long torso. If you guys are interested in any of my long torso videos, I'll leave it right here. I'd pair the bodysuit with a high-waisted white denim skirt from Levi's. Make sure whenever you wear white bottoms that you can't see your bodysuit through the bottom half. To add some blue to this look, these Saludos Navy Espadrille wedges are perfect. They'll give you some height and make your legs look amazing. If you guys are looking for masks to go with your looks, check out Dipping Daisies. For every mask sold, they give one to a frontline worker. For the last look, we cannot forget all the food that you'll be eating at the barbecues and picnics. I wanted to incorporate a fun dress that's breathable. Blue, white, and striped dress is from Saludos. Yes, they do make clothing, not just shoes. I think they actually started designing dresses around last year. This dress has pockets and tie straps. It's the perfect amount of coverage since it'll most likely be around your family members. For shoes, you really want to be comfortable. These espadrille sandals are really cute. You guys can't tell, I love espadrilles. If you're someone who gets sunburned really easily, I'd wear this cute fringe hat. It's from Target. I actually just got it recently and I love it. So there you have it. Five different outfits for a bunch of different 4th of July occasions. If you guys enjoy this format where I put looks together, make sure to like this video. And if you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!
Spring awakening, new love takes me into 